We're in the Bargello in Florence. We're looking at the so-called competition panels. Art historians often see this as the beginning of the Renaissance. In 1401, the Cloth Guild of Florence decided to commission a second set of doors for the Baptistry of Florence. Now, there are three doorways in the Baptistry. The first set of doors had been made by Andrea Pisano in the 14th century, and the Cloth Guild wanted to create a second set of doors. These were enormous bronze doors, and this was a huge civic undertaking and extremely expensive. The Baptistry is historically the most important building in Florence, in an effort to find the best sculptor, the Cloth Guild held a competition. The only two that survive of the seven entries are by Brunelleschi and Ghiberti. The Cloth Guild, when they held this competition, were very specific about what they wanted, and they allocated a certain amount of bronze. They told the sculptors they had to sculpt the Old Testament subject of the sacrifice of Isaac. They dictated the number of figures and what should be included. The only other thing that I remember that the Cloth Guild actually dictated was that all the panels had to be contained within a quatrefoil. That is this gothic shape. It's really fun to look at both of these panels and think about why the guild chose the one they did and which one is better and for what reasons. In the story, God commands Abraham to kill his only son, Isaac, to sacrifice Isaac. Now you have to remember that Abraham went for a very long time in his life with no children, and so his son meant everything to him. His son was a miracle. Now God is commanding him to murder his son, and Abraham is taking God's word very seriously. This is a moment of crisis, a moment of faith. Will he allow everything in his life to be subservient to God's will? So Abraham takes Isaac to the mountain where God has told him to go and takes a knife to Isaac's throat and is about to kill his son when an angel appears and stops him. God provides a ram instead for Abraham to sacrifice. So Isaac is spared and Abraham is spared this terrible fate of having to slay his only son. I'm particularly fond of the way that angel flies in in both panels to save the day. In the Ghiberti, it's far less dramatic. We have an angel foreshortened coming out towards us, but in Brunelleschi's version, the angel is grasping Abraham's hand and literally stopping him at the very moment when the knife meets Isaac's throat. There's also a kind of intensity with Isaac's head pushed back by Abraham and so there's a kind of violence that seems to be in process. In the Ghiberti it's interesting, the angel is separate. There isn't the same continuity of form. I think there's more complexity in Ghiberti's emotionally. Abraham looks reluctant. This isn't something he wants to do. He's pulled the knife back. He's looking at Isaac, but there's a sense of unwillingness. It's like a second of pausing because of this terrible thing that he's been commanded to do. It's interesting that the Ghiberti shows us a full nude and presents that nude to us in the most direct way, whereas the Brunelleschi is up on one knee, has a loincloth, and is twisted and distorted, yeah. as opposed to this classicizing beauty that we see in the Ghiberti. It's a direct quote from ancient Greek and Roman sculpture, and it's really very beautifully done. There's also an interesting corollary in both panels in terms of the physical relationship of the father and son. In the Ghiberti, you have a gentle arcing, whereas in the Brunelleschi, you have a diagonal, which is more energized and more violent as well. For me, the Brunelleschi is a little scarier. It is scary. Well, apparently, the guilds agreed. There's we, no written record right. of why they chose what they did. That, that's right. But ultimately, it was Ghiberti who got the commission, although some accounts say that they both won, but Ghiberti actually was chosen to carry out the commission. In the Ghiberti, you have that rocky mountain that unifies the scene. It seems to flow down almost like water from the upper left to the lower right. There's a sense in the Brunelleschi more of separate parts being assembled, and in fact, Brunelleschi cast many of the parts of this separately and then put them together, and the Ghiberti is cast only from two pieces of bronze. There may have been one other element that helped to sway the decision, and that is that Ghiberti used less bronze than Brunelleschi. And remember, bronze is extremely expensive, and when you multiply this through all of the panels of the door, that would have been significant. 
In any case, in the end, Ghiberti gets the commission, produces the doors, and they are such a triumph that he's ultimately commissioned to produce a third set of doors. And Brunelleschi will take this opportunity to move beyond sculpture, go to Rome and study ancient Roman architecture and ancient Roman sculpture. He'll, of course, come back to Florence triumphant ultimately with major commissions like the Dome.